When I was little, every Sunday morning my mom would wake me up a little earlier so I could catch Jacques Cousteau's underwater program. It was such a magical show visiting worlds that I have never would have seen and experienced. And I remember in one of the episodes there was a diver who took with them an underwater sketch pad and a pencil and recorded everything that they saw underwater. It was such a cool thing to see as a six-year-old that it really kind of fell into my soul and I always wanted to recreate that experience for me as well. When I sketch, I remember everything around me a lot better. It's a lot better than taking a photograph because I actually process all the different stimuli and ask myself questions, you know, what is the best way to record something? So I really wanted to sketch underwater probably for the last 25 years of my life and on the last trip of in Hawaii, I actually got a chance to do it. Here's how it happened. So there are a lot of different ways to actually do it. There are special dive uh, sketch pads that you can take and you are able to draw on them with a regular pencil. Uh, it's kind of a gritty surface, but what I actually wanted is something that most artists have and that would be watercolor paper and a pencil. And for watercolor paper, I've used the Fluid 100 sketch pad that you saw me uh, talk about in a previous video. It's a really great surface, it's 100% cotton, so that means that it doesn't actually disintegrate in the water since it's a cloth. And then what I also used was a very soft uh, black wing pencil. It was really cool because I was, it was soft enough to be able to record the shape, but not damage the paper or get washed off in the water. The studies were done were pretty simple sketches of the fish, uh, taking care to record the proportions as well as interesting characteristics. For example, this one had an orange beak, so and then uh, this fish was very trumpet-like, so it was probably a trumpet fish. So I've also recorded some of the shapes of the corals and different textures. And actually, this is enough information for me to take to a complete painting, especially, you know, with all the reference photos that I do have. And this one, my husband was awesome enough to find a crown of thorns starfish. And I was really excited to see and study it, how it wiggled, how it had all the little tentacles, and how it wrapped itself around the corals. So I actually wanted to make sure that I counted all of its legs, and it totally has 15. In this one, even though it does look like a mess, in here you can see the shape, the outline of the corals. And then also, I probably spent about 10-15 minutes in this area, kind of looking at all the little characteristics of fish and um, where each one liked to hang out. So here's, for example, is a parrot fish. And then here's another one that was swimming through, and this trumpet really didn't like it hanging out in its area. And then over here is where we actually saw the crown of thorns. So you can see that there's almost an entire ecosystem captured in a tiny little sketch that I can then take to complete a painting. And since this is actually already watercolor paper, even though it does have some salt water on it, it would actually probably make a really cool painting surface. So I can actually paint exactly on my sketch paper.
Underwater sketching was a really fantastic experience. I got to see which animals are territorial and also uh, keep an eye out for their behaviors and which ones like to remain in which, in which environments. But of course, you don't need to go far. You can just go to your own aquarium with a sketch pad and a pencil and just really take the time to observe and learn from the animals. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. My goal is to reach 200 subscribers so I can get my own YouTube channel name. And of course, if you've had any cool underwater stories, please share them in the comments below. And next time you're going snorkeling or scuba diving, I hope you'll bring some basic supplies and record what you see.